चलो आप प्लेट काज बटा फुक never happened it's way past new year and new resolutions and all of that but i think i need to start vlogging and i have to keep pushing myself to do that so when it is 6:30 in the morning i am going to the gym and i'll see you after the gym bye so the most annoying thing is when i reach gym on time and it's shut so well yeah it is shot so now i'll have to keep waiting till someone comes and uh, i could just be in my bed you know i could just be in my bed sleeping and snoozing and being happy hi so i am at jw marriott mumbai for a event like or film event and um, so it's a brunch thingy but it hasn't really started off yet but i mean i don't really know what's going to happen so is it just this e coming meeting and getting done with or if there's anything more it's so beautiful i'm going to take pictures like everywhere i'll show you the like i'll show you a proper clip later so and uh, right now we are just i'm just waiting for my turn to get a foot massage sinjil and pratishtha are already doing it So yeah, so I'm waiting for my turn. I've got like some stuff here. They have given us some goodies, and I'll go home and I'll show it to you what all I got. I hope there's something fun. afternoon rather it's noon already um uh, so i have to share something and um uh, so something happened the other day so i uh i was coming back home from work and i have this one um uh, bus stop and one bus that i generally uh take to get home and from the work from where i work to my house there's only one direct bus so i have to take that uh the bus stop that i wait at is very creepy there have been so i have been traveling from the same place for like uh a year and a half now and it and there have been couple of incidents when it was a little scary or a little creepy and uh, i was you know i felt so um unsafe there that i had to move places and go to the next bus stop and wait there or you know um go a little ahead and wait where there were people around and then run back to the bus stop when i see my bus coming and certain things the like things like these kept happening over the period of time but i didn't really pay attention or rather i didn't really know what to do about it uh the thing is that even if i confront someone or even if you know i you know talk back or you know i you know do anything to that person um i fear that 
you know what if he's a psycho what if you know he takes it upon his heart or what if you know he 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 craves revenge or something like that and what if he comes back the next day with something even more scarier where i won't be able to do anything and because it's a pattern because i go from the same bus every day same place every day around the same time every day it gets a little more creepy to you know confront anyone because you know that my routine and my um, you know pattern is very uh, uh, what do you what, what do I say like can be predicted you know it can they can predict that I will be at, there at the same time around the same place uh, so it kind of gets a little tricky for me anywho what happened the other day was like this was like last week that uh, I was waiting at the bus stop and there was no one else that bus stop is generally very empty there's no one waiting there other than you know like two three people that also rarely so I was waiting at the bus stop and I was going through Twitter and Instagram you know you know just like I had my earphones in and I was just waiting for the bus going through my social media and uh, there was this man standing a couple of like steps away from me and uh, I didn't notice him initially uh, so after like I guess five ten minutes or I don't even know how long but I looked up to check on my bus like I looked up from my phone and I saw around and I saw that this man was actually masturbating like properly his dick was out uh, and he was properly masturbating and that freaked me I mean who even has that courage to do it in a public place at you know at seven in the evening it was it was in the heart of Mumbai like I work in VT like you know that's like I, I, I just didn't know what to do the minute I saw it I was shocked and that guy saw me like realize what was happening he zipped his pant up and he left and i i honestly didn't know what to do i mean i honestly didn't understand how to react to that uh that happened i came home i was you know i just got over the incident i was i i just stopped thinking about it Three days later, at the same bus stop, around the same time, this other man was standing next to me and uh, he was constantly staring at my boobs. I was wearing a kurta by the way, so in case you are wondering what I was wearing or something like that, I was wearing a kurta, like a long kurta. And he was constantly staring at my boobs. And I thought, you know, if I look at him, if I gave him a warning sign, like, you know, if I, you know, did something, I, he would shy away, but he didn't. He had the courage or, I don't know, I don't think that is courage, but whatever that shit is, he kept looking and um, I have a pepper spray in my bag and I pulled that up. But I knew that if I spray it and what if he's a revenge kind and what if he comes the next day with an acid or whatever. Maybe I'm overthinking, maybe I'm not overthinking. I don't really know. But at that particular minute, I was very, 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 very scared. And I don't know. It was, it was just one of those things where you feel terribly uncomfortable and not so safe. And, you know, you don't really know what to do. And... I don't know I just panicked a lot I moved places and uh, because I didn't know what to do I started tweeting because I honestly didn't know what to do uh, I tweeted to Mumbai police and uh, you can check it on my Twitter it's all there I just compiled it on my blog as well so if you need to see the blog uh, you can check out that click on that I button there and you can see that so um, I started tweeting to Mumbai police and uh, within like two minutes they 
asked me to DM them my number and I DM them my number. I got a Im call immediately and uh, I explained to them like what happened and what was happening and all of that and um, so he asked me to come down and that he would send someone there. Um, so after like 5-10 minutes, <coughs> uh, police did come, they called me up, they asked me where I exactly am. They came there, so when the police was arriving, this person saw them arriving. He knew that, you know, it was for him or it would, you know, like he was in trouble. And he left, he just ran away. And uh, I, I again didn't know what to do and I just explained the whole scenario to the police and he understood it. And um, we, he kind of like, you know, noted down my number and my address and where I work and everything, all the details about me. He told me that, you know, if something ever happens like this again, then you, I can just call him up. They gave me the direct number so I don't have to like, you know, I can just directly call them up. And, um, well, they waited till my bus came and I was home. The thing is, what bothers me is that all of this happened in Mumbai, in VT, where it's so crowded and so populated all the time. At 7 p.m., 7 in the evening, when I was wearing like a kurta and a pajama and like, you know, a proper clothed, covered attire. And something like this keeps happening. And this is not the first time. And it is crazy and freaky and scary. And I don't know what. I just felt like sharing this. And at times I tried speaking about this to my friends. And they didn't really get it. Like, I... I don't know I felt just felt like sharing this and uh, so yeah that's what happened and um, well yeah this is it I think uh, I'll see you next week hopefully with better stories and better things and a more positive and happy life and stories okay yeah. Bye. Be safe.